Hey guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to take one of your favorite photos and to blow it up 64 times to create a highly detailed blown up version. For that, here is a message from our sponsor. Guys, quite often after a video goes up, people have questions. You see these in the comments on the videos, many of these already answered. So guys, if you like the videos on the channel, there is now a members program for Pixavert, which allows you to get a members only feed. Hit the join button and select a member level for perks like exclusive member only videos, early release videos, and member only polls, member badges, among other perks. Your membership will help to bring even more high quality content to this channel on YouTube. Now we're gonna blow up this image 64 times and you're looking at it now at 100% magnification. We're gonna start off by going to filter GMQT. This is a plugin for GIMP, it's free, open source. You will find a link to this inside of the description. Let's go to GMQT. Now, what we want to do first of all is to go to a place called degradations and we want to choose add grain. We are going to degrade this woman. So the settings are going to be default settings, opacity of 0.2, a scale of 50, everything else at default, we'll hit OK. That just adds a little bit of grain to the image. Next, we're going to go to image, we're going to go to image size, and we're going to change the size to 200%. I've changed the drop down to 2%. And I'm using what's known as Preserve Details 2.0 on a resample of, uh, with resample selected. And that will just resample the image. It will use artificial intelligence to resize the image twofold. There is also Preserve Details 1, which sometimes might work a little bit better. Overall, this technique does work better inside of GIMP. You can do it exactly in the same way inside of Photoshop. It's just a little bit more complex. If you want to see how I did it inside of GIMP, I will link to the GIMP video in the description. We go to Filters, GMIC QT, and we are going to, I think, sharpen the image a little bit. So we're going to go down to, there are lots of ways of sharpening inside of GMIC QT. We're going to use, I think, multi-scale. No, we're going to use uh, details equalizer. The settings that I've got are five for the base scale, 0.5 for the detail scale. And we're going to go ahead and increase the fine scale gain to 0 .0, 0.08. And I think that's going to be it. We're going to hit apply. And next, I'm actually going to go down to Octave Sharpening. And inside of Octave Sharpening, we're going to crank up the scales to very high, about 10. And the maximal radial, ra radius can go down to about 2 or 3. The amount at 3 is going to be fine. And it's a very subtle effect. You can barely see it. We're going to hit Apply once again. And then we're going to add some more, some more grain. So we're going to go to degradations, add grain. And this time the settings are going to be, I think, feel free to experiment with this. We'll keep it at 0 0.2. And I think we can make it a hundred for the grain, maybe even make it 0 0.25. So experiment with the, with the settings to see what works well for your image. We'll hit OK, that takes us back into Photoshop. And once again, we're now at, I think, what, four times the original size. Let's go to Image, Image Size. We're going to use Preserve Details 2.0 again. The other one I recommended is Preserve Details Enlargement. That's the original AI-powered version. And we're going to go with the same settings, 200%. Hit OK. It's a very fast algorithm. That's one thing in its favor. Let's go back into GMIC and we're going to add some more grain. Now, the technique you use inside of GMIC, if you want to increase the size of the image, you would go to repair and you would use this 
setting here called upscale DCCI. And the settings can be a threshold of around 1.5 to an exponent of around six. That will double the size of the image. It will increase it four times, twice in each direction. But we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use Photoshop. And what we'll do is go to degradations. We're gonna go to add grain 0.1. Five for the opacity scale is going to be 200 and uh, actually I'm going to increase that to about 0.17 so feel free to experiment with the settings and change them for your own benefit we'll hit OK and the final um, filter we're going to apply once again is going to be image image size and we're going to increase this to 200 again. That will take us to a size of 64. Now, sometimes this doesn't quite work well on my machine. I might run out of memory, but um, if not, it will produce a very, very large document, which hopefully is going to appear right now. What you should see is that the results you get, the results you get will depend on the original image that you're using. Uh, the better quality the original image, the better quality the results you use. Change the settings, you're going to get different results. You may get better or slightly worse results. And also, like I said, it does seem to work best inside of GIMP using a technique which uh, I've just showed you inside of the GMIC uh, QT filter. You can also use this as a standalone filter. Let's go to the input output settings. I'm not actually going to open those up, but essentially if you wanted to use the technique, the DCCI 2X technique that I showed you, you would have to change the input output settings because the plugin cannot open up Photoshop with an, with an enlarged image. It has to save the image somewhere on your hard drive. So you have to set it up to uh, point to a place on your hard drive where it would save the enlarged image. Then you would have to bring the enlarged image into Photoshop. And that's the reason I didn't want to do it that way. But personally, I do think it actually produces a better result. Guys, that is going to be it for this one. I'll have links to the uh, software inside of the video, inside of the description for the video. And also, I will have a link to the other video that I did, which shows you a similar technique inside of GIMP. That is going to be it for this one.